Ace does have a solid Luigi. Obviously, there are some strong Luigis in the UK. Um, Jay Miller being the premier Luigi. Probably the why well, I you know I obviously you may say that I'm being um, biased here, but um, JJ Miller Luigi probably one of the best in the world. Um, so hard to kind of compare, really. But we do have some up and coming ones. Just doing our pick and ban phase. Obviously, Lilith has been swapped at in for Dreamland as a counter and starter. Where are we going to go for game one? Smashville. Keep it simple, keep it safe. Always a good way to start. Okay, we're underway for our first game here at DMM18. Let's go for it. Okay. Two Link blows himself up with, with, with a bomb, but does get the grab to start with. Okay, very, very nice. Just, this, is, this is what Itano Circus has been working on, just keeping his distance and being a, able to play that distance game a little bit better. So let's see how he can really rack up percentage and get his big hits in. Just using that Zare to kind of find his space in. Getting those bombs out. Ace is kind of allowing him to keep this distance, so Ace is not really getting in. So Itano Circus being very, very um, aggressive with his, his projectiles and getting away with it right now. So the story of Itano Circus right now in this first game, I keep saying right now, I need to kind of stay, stay, or stay clear of my buzzwords. Goes for the grab, but gets caught by the fireball as well. Does the re-grab, gets the, there we go. And gets the bomb explosion as well. Very, very nice. And gets the hit again. Good bomb usage here from Itano Circus. Really racking up a high percentage. 80% lead now in this first stock. Goes for the grab, gets punished by it. Ace can't follow up though, gets a dash attack. Ace just seeing the get up, reading it and getting the back air, and again, the same kind of edge guard. It's on a circus, needing to find another way in after he kind of does start throwing out those projectiles and getting his projectile game going. What is he going to do to really kind of push, push that advantage and pressurize the stock? Oh. Ace, see, bomb in hand, perhaps a, a forward smash could have been caught there, but he did have that bomb in hand. Using the, the, uh, the run back with a bomb. Using the re-grab on this bomb quite a lot, very, very nice. Oh, gets power shield into a throw. He needs to be careful on that follow-up. He needs to make sure that when he is following up, he's definitely got a hit there. Otherwise, he's finding himself getting caught. Wow, the down smash. Really, really strong move. Obviously, it's recent buff. Ooh, that's close. Just missed, missed the grab and then the jab combo afterwards. Catches with an air there. Try to find some kind of... And lands. Ace doesn't quite get the, uh, the, mag the magnet hands. Punished with a forward smash. So Tano Circus with this lead. Gets 40% in the up air in the up tilt combo, but can't, can't quite get the up smash afterwards. Tano Circus making a good job of using the uh, the bomb re-grab right now. Definitely one of his strongest uh, and most confident approaches to a combo. Doing a very, very good job of neutralizing Luigi's own projectile game right now. Tano Circus. Ooh, went for it. It's got to be careful sometimes. The Zare does sometimes miss. Ooh, rolls into the up smash. Read the roll there. Very well done from Ace to read that roll. Ooh, didn't quite get the up smash though. Gets punished and gets a hit. Good stuff just to not throw out that second hit. Uh, some, some, uh, a lot of kind of like newer players, especially when they're playing with with the link, tend to throw out that that, that second uh, secondary attack. But it's actually safest just to leave it. Sure, if you do get the second hit, that's great. But a lot of players are going to be patient in their shields and not get caught out. The blender comes through. Doesn't kind of get the hits he wants, but good shield there from Ace. There is a lot, a, lot, a lot of action, but a very slow-paced game, with the majority of the action being found in the projectile game from both players here. 
stuff from Atani Circus just to pressurize that edge with the bombs. Oh, tried to re re read the roll, but didn't go far enough with his own movement. Ace really needs to stop missing that uh, the uh, the magnet hand because he's getting caught out now and then. It cost him the first stock. It might cost him him in the game now, though. So he needs to be careful. Uh, just spacing enough just to get that back air. Atano Circus gets the grab and the throw. Takes the first game. Good stuff from Atano Circus. You know this is quite a close game there. Ace is getting caught just on the edge, not where he wanted. Link, two links back throw, very, very strong. Needs to be careful. So we're going into game two. Ace changes his color. It's not a circus, just wanting to make sure. Oh, no, he goes back to his original. Just about trying to find the bands that he needs. Obviously, we've got Duck Hunt and Dreamland coming into play now. Two bands. Two bands available. Obviously, due to the bit rate, if you are going FD, Omega Palatina's Temple. Or Palatina. Lady Palatina! Just to make sure that we don't get that bitrate drop. And so you guys can see. So 1 0 Itano Circus. Nice to see him going up and playing like he needs to play. Again, gets a 14% on the up tilt combo. Luigi just being able to get away at that slightly higher percentage. Punish isn't, isn't, isn't the largest punish, but it's a punish nonetheless. 8% there with the throw. Gets the down throw. Throws out a tilt, though. Doesn't really know how to quite how, how to follow up. Uh, Ace does a very nice move, just rolling back and then getting his, his big hits up. The up tilt into up smash, then forward air. Oh, the Nair coming out there from Luigi. Tano Circus just finding a bit harder now. The, the flat platform doesn't allow um, Tano Circus to make use of that middle platform and those kind of those different layers of uh, and different what's the word I'm looking for planes of, uh, of of attack. Nice timing on the back throw to go into the bomb as well, just to rack up that percentage a little bit more. First, go for the re-grab throw. But Ace just stands back in shields patiently. Ooh, reads the roll with a, uh, a nice grab there. Very, very nice. Punishes the missed super jump punch with a charge forward smash just to take that stock. Itano Circus looking really strong here right now. Pressurizing Ace wherever he can. grab there as well, just that, el that elongated grab rocks and the active frames there just catching out Luigi's movement away. Ace goes for the up smash. A little, little bit desperate as Ace manages, oh, excuse me, as Ace manages to, um, I did not see that coming. It, it, it's harder in solo comms to stifle a yawn, I'll say that much. If you haven't got someone to fall back on. Excuse me. Ace is getting caught out now, just taking unnecessary percentage. He needs to get rid of this stock as soon as possible. Seems a little bit lost for, for um, options right now. Ace needs to be careful. And so, and this is what I was saying about Atano Circus. His spacing games is getting a lot better. He's able to stay, stay away and just kind of keep Ace at bay right now with his projectile game. Try to read it again. Did a very, very good job throwing down the bomb at the right time. Ace is taking too much percentage right now. He's in a lot of danger. Throw up into the bomb as well. Ace with a huge deficit. 
Not really quite sure what to do. Covers nicely. But the uh, second hit, just able to survive. Not really a KO move there. He survives just about, but he doesn't get the magnet hand, so he's in danger there of getting caught. He's, I think it's honest, like he's going for the two stock, he wants it. Oh, try to jump up and follow up with a forward air, but perhaps the up air would have been nicer with the with the uh, lasting active frames. Back throw, that's enough to, to, to secure it. Two stock, 2-0 to Atano Circus. Really, really solid game.